Hey everybody, this is Josh SDH, and today we're going to do a Lookout Tower speed build. And the music you'll hear in the background a little bit is E-World by Zero Project, CC by SA 3.0. Well hey up there, how's it going? This is Josh SDH, and today we're doing something a little different. I'm going to actually build something and, and show you how I'm doing it, and you're going to get to watch from your view in the sky. So today we're going to build a Lookout Tower, kind of like you'd see uh, in the National Park Service, uh, you know, the ones where they look for fires and such. And it's pretty simple. Uh, it starts off with a cube of a planks, a, a block of planks, and then you want to go a, uh, basically a square around that. You're going to leave two spaces diagonally in between, and then on the third one, you'll put down a post. And you'll see I've put down the four posts already. And that square in the middle there, that's going to be where your ladder is going to get you up to your lookout tower. And the other posts are going to be what supports it and keeps it from falling over. Uh, typically when I build these, I build them about 12 high. And uh, you're going to need a lot of wood to do this. A ton of wood because you're using planks, you're using uh, wood stairs, you're going to be using a ton, a ton, a ton of fence posts, some ladders, and a trap door or two. And right now I am an op. This is on my personal server, and so I'm able to fly and spawn things, and uh, it makes it a lot easier. I will tell you, I did build this the first time legit. It took about four hours to get everything right, uh, and a lot of that was just figuring out the scaffolding for some of the other details you'll see in a minute. So, uh, what you see here now is I'm put up the, the center spire, and I now have the four posts going up, and they are going to make the, the base, and this is where the, the top of our tower is going to be. And you'll see I do a few where there's a couple of errors, and it's going to happen a lot more when I'm putting the roof on. My mouse is a little uh, wonky lately, and it'll double-click for me even though I don't mean it to. So what I'm doing now is I am putting down, this is just a temporary uh, level of wood there so I can put planks on, uh, so put some ladders on, or fence posts. So there's a fence post going around, just some detailing, you know, kind of support struts. And then I knock that out, and there you go. So now you kind of have the frame to hold up your lookout tower. And of course, you know, putting some lamps on or some torches is very useful. That way uh, you can see it from a distance. All right, so now I'm putting down the main floor and you'll see that I have to knock out some of the posts I built a little high. And the main floor basically just goes post to post. And so when you're done, you're gonna end up with a five by five platform uh, with a hole down near the middle. It's actually one off the middle for you to come up and hang out. So that 5x5 platform is useful because it's a, it's a good amount of space to build a little base camp uh, and you can build plenty of stuff up out there. Now, that's not enough. That lookout tower is very boring. So what I'm doing now is I am actually adding another set of uh, wood that's just temporary so I can put more fencing down. This is what is the roof is going to be supported off of. And I'm doing it one off to give me those spaces on the platform. And so by doing it this way, it will have a one-off effect. And you'll see I'm putting down diagonals. Those are kind of what connects it to the main post. So I'll lose those corners on my platform when it's all put in. And there we go. So now I'm going to knock out this temporary ones. And you'll see it starts looking like a cool, uh, get some cooler detail and look there. Much nicer. All right, so now I'm actually making a mistake and I'm putting the roof on and I, I get pretty far down the line here and I realize uh, a little too late that I actually put them in the wrong place. I don't want them on the interior ones, I want them on the exterior. And so I think I realize it right about now and then I come and delete everything. So let me fix the roof here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, and so we want to put the roof uh, on the sides there, and I'm making it too high, and then I'm putting a half slab of wood, and then what I'm going to do is outline that in stairs to kind of give you that nice uh, stacked roof effect. There's a double-clicking issue. And so I'm going to line this whole thing. And in the process, uh, Fraps actually kind of froze up a little bit, so sorry it looks a little uh, stuttery there. Uh, that was Fraps uh, getting a little angry at me, I guess for not moving the mouse or something on my other uh, tune here. All right, so now that I have that going, I am going to fill in with planks to give me my, my overall roof. And we're almost done the main structure. Uh, there's a couple of things we need to do with some lights. And what I like to do now is now that we have the vines uh, or the ivy or whatever you want to call it, um, I like to outline that whole frame there as well as the stairs. Because what will happen is when that grows down, it's going to blend in much better into these great forests we have. And so all you'll really see is just the top platform coming over the trees. And so I do a little bit of detailing, and I'll actually go up there and show you that in a second. So there you go. That's the speed build real quick. Now let's go explore it. So here we are under it, and you can see how great it looks going on up. And we go to our trapdoor. And what I'm going to do up here, actually, is do some decorating. I'm going to just uh, throw down the essentials to make this a base camp, uh, including getting rid of that wood block, because if I'm going to have to have a block there to hold the trapdoor, it might as well be something interesting, so I make it a bookshelf. So, you know, maybe it's all your nature books while you're out here on your lookout tower, uh, keeping you interested in, uh, so you don't get too bored while you're watching for fires. 
And so we're looking for a bed, there we go. And you can see that's the inventory you get when you're in creative mode on a server. And so it makes it very nice, you don't need any mods for that, that's all just built in now. And so we place a bed down, we're gonna put a crafting table right there, knock that out, put the bookshelf in. There we go. And we'll put the trapdoor back. Perfect. And then we're gonna add our furnace and a chest. And there you go, you have all the amenities of home and a nice base camp and everything you need. You get a great view of the water, of this epic landscape that uh, is, is really coming all the time now, 1.8. And so we'll go down and we'll just kind of do a fly around. Hey, little zombie. And so we'll fly around just to give you a, a final view. And there you go. That's how you build a watchtower. I hope you enjoyed. So if you have any comments, uh, thoughts, things to make it look nicer or a little more realistic, feel free to leave me comments and I'd love to read them. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at JoshSDH. Thanks all, we'll catch you later. Keep on digging.